Back in December, I put out a video talking about how American Amicable was my number one, my favorite, the ultimate carrier three years in a row. Well, Houston, we may have a problem. I may have actually spoken a little bit too soon. I'm Doug Massey, and the simple fact is this. If they actually did make the correction or the change that Savings Bank Life Insurance, SBLI, claims to have made in December, if they actually did make this change, they're probably going to be my number one favorite carrier. And honestly, worse come to worse, I would have to say that if they did make this correction, they're probably going to be tied with American Amicable or it's going to give them that little edge. And, and then I would have to say, yeah, yeah, they're definitely my number one carrier. This is what I'm going to ask to please give the video a thumbs up. And we do recommend that you subscribe if you're a new viewer. We're putting out new insurance sales content and final expense sales training videos like pretty much every single week. And if you stick around to the end of this video, we're going to show you how to get the Overcoming Objections Super File. Now, this thing is pretty cool. Simple fact is it has scripts on overcoming objections for agents selling final expense life insurance in multiple scenarios. So different scenario, different situations. So jumping right in, there are three reasons why I believe SBLI, Savings Bank Life Insurance Company, will actually end up being my number one favorite final expense carrier mainly, you know, and let me just, let me just make sure I'm saying this right, mainly for telesales, but potentially for both telesales, remote sales, and face-to-face. -face. Let's start with reason number three. You can give first day coverage with a lot of people based on health scenarios that would either be a decline with American Amicable or would end up being like a graded or modified product. And there's a list. Let me let me read to you some of them. Hepatitis C, first day coverage. Lupus, first day coverage. Multiple sclerosis, kidney disease, epilepsy, including regular seizures, which is, is kind of rough, right? And of course, COPD and other breathing conditions that maybe the client has had for a long period of time that are very serious, and Parkinson's disease. Yep, first day coverage for people with Parkinson's. I mean, that's all huge. The fact that Savings Bank Life Insurance will insure a lot of these conditions, not just insure them, but actually give first day coverage. <laughs> the fact that they'll insure them is one thing, but first day coverage, that is pretty awesome. It's, that's not the norm. Yeah, there's other carriers actually that'll accept a lot of health conditions like this from their clients. But there's another reason I really love SBLI, which leads us to reason number two, Savings Bank Life Insurance Company has, for their final expense product, has a super high approved as applied for percentage. So what we've been experiencing now since the product came out, so we're talking about 15 plus months now, is an abnormally high approval rate. And that's, it's just crazy. And again, as applied for, we're actually seeing over 90% of the applicants being approved as applied for, period. Which is honestly, if you think about it, if, if you're doing your business clean, that's probably the highest approval as applied for percentage in the industry by any insurance carrier or even final expense. Now, number one, this is the game changer. If it weren't for this number one, if it, we find out that this number one reason isn't true, then scrap it. They're gonna end up being my number seven carrier. And this is why. In December, we had clients who are on social security and the payment was to be drafted on the third. Now, the only thing was the third fell on a Sunday. Normally SBLI, what they'll do is they'll draft the payment on the next business day, which would be Monday. Keep in mind, guys, you may not know this, but clients on social security disability or receiving VA benefits. If their payment day falls on a weekend or holiday, they actually get paid the business day before the weekend or holiday. So savings bank life insurance, just like most carriers, I'll give you another example, uh, Mutual of Omaha, 
they normally wait until Monday to draft that payment, but that's not what happened. So let me scoot over and show you the Social Security billing calendar. What SBLI did was for the first time, they followed this calendar. They actually drafted the payment on Friday, which was before the third Friday, which ended up being the day that those clients actually received their social security benefits in their bank or on their debit cards. So that's why this is such a huge deal. And for those of you who don't exactly understand what true social security billing is, and that's basically what they're claiming. They're saying, hey, we're doing it this way now, not the old way. What it is, is this. Anytime a client on social security disability or that receives veterans benefits, anytime they are supposed to get their money on a day that ends up falling on a weekend or holiday. So some months of the year, as you'll see on this calendar, actually do fall where they're going to get their money on the weekend. They're always going to get paid early. That's a regulation required by the U.S. government to Social Security. So they can't get paid late. They've always got to get paid early. So carriers that do true Social Security billing like American Amicable, so they've always been doing it. One of the reasons they've been my number one carrier. And now what SBLI is saying they did, they're actually going to always draft that payment on the exact day that those people get paid. That's why they could end up being my number one favorite carrier. So let me give you a few cons, uh, a few situations where we actually do prefer American Amicable, which is why at the end of the day, SBLI, they may not be like my like my number one, but they may be tied number one with American Amicable. First of all, the cons. The signature process for the electronic app for American Amicable is a little bit easier, okay? It, it is overall, agents prefer that application slash signature process a little bit better. There's an extra step that SBLI requires. So I think at the end of the day, it's a little bit easier. Okay. Then that's not a big thing, right? The approval process. Now, let me just say this. This is important. The approval process for SBLI is a little bit better. And the reason I think it's better is because at the end of every application, every single one, they're going to tell you if the client is approved as applied for or not. As with American Amicable, I'm not sure if this is better or not. So Look at it this way. With American Amicable, a lot of times they're going to offer your client something other than applied for. However, if you know they should be getting whatever you're applying for, let's say first day coverage and they're offering return of premium or something, you can actually put in the notes exactly why, what the medication that may be coming up is being taken for. And based on that, when the underwriter reviews the whole application and reads your comments, they may actually go, okay, we can accept that. We're going to go ahead and prove your, your client level. Another thing, SBLI insures people from 50 to 85 years old as American Amicable actually goes down to zero. And then we'll also insure to 85 years old, which so there you've got this, this final expense product that's good for people under 50. And that's why we love it. Now, keep in mind, when they're younger, the underwriting is not the same. It's a little bit stricter. They do expect younger people to be healthier than older folks. But the idea that American Amicable has a product for people zero to 85, that's pretty sweet. And let's talk about the other than level products. So SBLI, Savings Bank Life Insurance, their final expense product that's modified is very, very expensive, even compared to, let alone the American Amicable graded, the return of premium that American Amicable has is actually very competitive. So when you compare that SBLI modified to the American Amicable graded and return of premium product, American Amicable is going to beat them out like pretty much every time and, and in many cases by a lot. Hopefully you guys got something out of this video as always. And again, if you'd like the overcoming objections super file that I mentioned at the beginning of the video, just email me at Doug at UFESonline.com. If you'd like more information on our remote final expense sales platform, the one where you can get 20 to over 30 appointments every single day of the people, these folks are actually setting their own appointments on your calendar. They know what you look like because they've seen your picture 
and they know what the call is about, just email me at that same address. As always, when you put the needs of your clients first, everything else will usually fall right into place. Now get out there or get that headset on, no matter what, whatever you do, just make sure you do something really good for someone today. Happy hunting.